أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على النبي على المرسلين وعلى النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد In very day I seek refuge in, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the curse of shaitan and rajim. In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most gracious and the most merciful. It may peace and prayers be upon all the prophets of Allah and the final of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I bear witness that there is no deity where we worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has no partner. And I bear witness that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a slave and the messenger of Allah. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to give a very serious reminder, inshallah, that will benefit you. And this reminder is about aqim salah or not praying salah. And this is taken from Surah to Maryam, chapter 19, 59 to 60. The meaning is that then there succeeded them a generation which neg negated salah and follow their lust, the hawa and nas. They will meet their destruction, which is Ghaya, accepting for one who repents and believes and acts righteously. Ibn Abbas explained that negating salah means he does not mean that, that they completely abandon their prayers, but they delayed them to the end of the prescribed time. Sa'ad ibn Mu'adil, Allah Ta'an, a great Imam following the generation of the companions, a brother one by saying, a person in eight days of Salat, if he delays the noon prayer up to the afternoon prayer time, afternoon prayer time, it is also the sunset prayer time, sunset prayer time up to the evening time. And the evening time in the morning, while the delaying the morning prayer and before just before sunset if anybody dies without repenting to Allah Ta'ala while continuing in this manner Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised Ghayin, which, which is for him that this is a valley in hell which is a very deep and is foul of food and as we know in Surah al Ma'amun 107 ayat 4 and 5 Wailulil Ukimu Salah he says Whoa, Onto the worshippers who are unmindful of their prayers. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, we as Muslims must be very careful not to abandon Salah. The Salah is the very important uh, pillar of Islam because the Prophet Muhammad said that the difference between the believer and the non believer is Aqimu Salah. So if you're not praying Salah, you're not praying Salah, you are not reminded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says again, Surah Al-Ankabut, chapter 29, ayat 45 or 46, Inna salata tanha fa sha'at al munkar That when we pray to Allah Jalla Ta'ala, it makes us remember Allah and to stop doing evil and fa sha'at al munkar So if you're not praying salah, check yourself carefully. Because we as Muslims, we should not be involved in anything idle talk, any uh, this debating or whatever. We should be go to the salah and the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I remind the Muslims here many times that leave the debate, go to hayya salah, hayya falah. Come to prayer and come to success. And because the salah is the success to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we need to return to the salah inshallah, not to abandon the salah. When you don't give and you leave the prayer, it's not good Muslims and it's not good. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised us that we should guard the salah. We should guard the salah, no matter where we are, where are we, if we're in Africa, or we're in uh, London or wherever we are, we should still keep the salah. Keep your prayer, keep your salah. Why are you making shaitan, making waswas with you? Why are you making the devil making waswas with you? You should avoid it and say, A'udhu Billah, and go to the salah that you will be successful, inshallah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you to the correct way of Hakim Salah and be mindful not to forget your salah and don't do that thing where you're going to say, Oh, I'll combine Duhar with Aisha 
it's going to become too much for you. So do not let shaitan make wasfas with you and be mindful of your salah and dhikrullah wa akbar, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the greatest. So please, my brothers and sisters, hold your salah, inshallah, hold your deen and hold to the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is all I have to say. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you, give you the clearest guidance for keep aqim of salah and keep salah on his prescribed times. As Allah has said that the prayers are prescribed on the fixed time. Not when you want to pray, not when you say you, you can be clever than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, to pray on the prescribed times. So let us fear Allah and keep the salah inshallah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Ani. Subhanaka bi'izzati amisul. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Ani. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.